Get the I love a grinder. I am. And um, one of the things I've heard about you is that Mac loves to say, through 900 passes in the SEC and only 12 interceptions, you're kind of a game manager guy, which is like kind of like what your dad was like. So tell me about you as a quarterback and about some of the things I just said, how you're Yeah, well, a lot of people say game manager, but at the same time, Brock Purdy's in the Super Bowl. I think that's a lot of a lot of people say that, but also I've, I've thrown for a lot of yards in the SEC, a lot of yards. I've played a lot of big-time games, thrown a lot of touchdowns, but um, I think I can – you know, make all the throws, make all the plays, and uh, kind of take over a game as well. I've thrown for you know, a lot of 300-yard games, uh, one 400-yard game, but I think just being able to lead, honestly, is, is you know, kind of, uh, I think the most important thing, whether that's throw for 80 yards and win a game. I don't think it matters, you know, how many yards you throw for, how many touchdowns you throw for, as long as you win the game, I think that's honestly the biggest thing. What about game manager is a compliment, and what about game manager might be an, an insult? 100%. I think you can take it both ways. And it depends how it comes across. I think game game manager is awesome. I mean, that means you're managing the game, whether that's throw the ball away, you're about to get sacked, throw the ball away, or that's throw you know a hitch and cover three, and it's the right play. I think, or throw the goal ball, throw the goal ball and press when it's needed to. I think uh, I can manage the game well, and I kind of understand defenses and um, understand where the ball needs to go. One of the things that I've read and heard about you and Max said about you too is you stay in the pocket. You take the hit, you stay in the pocket, you stay on your read. How much of that is growing up with your dad and just learning at an early age that you have to stay in the pocket, you have to keep your eyes on your reads? I think it gets down to both things, honestly. Being able to stay in the pocket, take the hit on third down, you're throwing a dig in the middle and you're getting, you're getting thrashed. And being able, you know, being able to you know, stand tall and make the throw in the pocket is important, but also you know, when the play breaks down, being able to escape and make plays with your feet and make, um, you know, whether that's a scramble drill or just make plays in general, I think being able to do both is important. So why here? Honestly, it's being able to watch, you know, Drake, Sam, Mitch Trubisky, all the guys that have come through here, uh, lit it up, and, you know, I'm excited to play for Coach Lindsey. I think that was a huge part of it. I had a past relationship with him um, when he was at Auburn. But um, just being able to play with great players, um, great people, and uh, a great system. Yeah, uh, Mark Rick, whom obviously you're related to, said some pretty nice things about you. said that you can be like Sam Howe and Drake May. Why can't you be that kind of guy? Why can't you be as prolific as they were? I think um, I've had areas of my game that have improved so much since I've been a freshman. And, uh, you know, being able to make just the routine play, whether that's throw the go ball, um, throw an out. Um, just making making the throws, being accurate, and I think that's what those guys did great. I think they did a, there. I think you know Drake and Sam and Mitch were you know great players. Are really smart and they understood where the ball needed to go at the right time. And um, I think they made plays, a lot of plays with their feet as well. So I think I have the ability to do that as well. There's a Clyde Christensen connection to your dad. He coached him for I guess a year in Tampa. How much was that a part of your decision making? It was. It was a little part of it, just being able to have that uh, you know, relationship with him, kind of talk about um, what kind of goes on here in the offense. And, and I'm, I've, I've been able to grow a lot with him since I've been here. So I think that, was, that definitely was a part of it. What are your thoughts about Connor Harrell? I think he's a great player. Um, I had fun watching him and practicing with him at the bowl game. I think he's really, really athletic. I think he's smart. Um, he's a really hard worker. And uh, I've, I've been able to grow up with my relationship with him. Well. Right. Last question, I'll let you yeah. go. What, what do you want to get out of this? What is, what is your main objective, I mean, personally, not as a team, yeah. but personally? I mean, personally, like I said, it is just to win games, you know, win an ACC, ACC championship. Although that is a you know, team goal, that's also a personal goal. Win a national championship, that is a personal goal. But I would say, you know, you know, throw for a lot of yards, throw a lot of touchdowns, and you know, lead. I think I mean, that, that's what makes me happy is, you know, leading guys, seeing smiles, giving high fives, and then ultimately, you know, um, however long it takes, or maybe it's this year, I'm not sure what it is, but you know, playing the NFL, that, that, that's my dream, and that's what I'm working towards. Sounds good. Thank awesome. you, man. Thanks.